Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Competitor's Edge YouTube channel. Appreciate you checking it out. Uh, today, we are going to get some stuff done on this 408. It's been a while. I've been busy. I've been, uh, I don't know, man, tune after tune after tune. Um, helping a brother out with his 6'2", doing a cam swap. Uh, the typical DOD lifter failure garbage. You know the deal. Uh, so it's been busy. It's been, yeah, it's been nuts. Uh, so now it's time to get back to the 408. But uh, before we continue on the 408, I'm gonna sh I want to do a little learning here with you guys. I, uh, you know how when you're playing a video game, you know you think you're running with the pack, you're doing you're doing good, you know you think you got it figured out and you know, pretty close anyway. You know there's some stuff you can learn, yada yada, but you feel good, right? And then all of a sudden you level up and you get like an extra power or whatever it is in the game, right? Now all of a sudden you're like, whoa, this is a whole new world. Like now you're just, you're kicking ass, your mind is blowing, you know, your eyes are open to something new that you never saw before. And it's just a whole new world, you know? That happened to me with this 408. And I'll explain that to you here sh shortly. Um, but my machinist, uh, I got this 302 back. Um, we did the whole shebang there and I'll do a video on that yet. But when I picked it up, uh, this is how it started. He's talking about the connecting rod bolts on 302. They're a, a lower torque rating. Uh, I think the spec is like 38 foot pounds or something on a 3 8 bolt ARP. And he asked about stretch gauge on the rod bolt. I don't have a stretch gauge. I always do everything with the torque spec. ARP lube, torque to spec, you know, check your brand clearances, everything like that, right? Um, but he blew my mind a little bit on this. He he mentioned if you are using a 3 8 bolt, or sorry, this, you know, a light torque spec, like 38 foot pounds, pretty light for a rod bolt. Uh, it's pretty hard to get that stretch factor in there, right? So you're torquing to try to stretch your bolt so that it has a certain yield to hold the, the cap in place, essentially. Um, but 38 foot pounds is pretty light. So to get that proper stretch is pretty tough. So he asked about a stretch gauge. Well, I didn't have one. One luck, thankfully. He had a few on hand and I, I bought one from him right away. And uh, I'm using it today. I'm just about done and I'll show it to you here. Uh, the 408, I already had the bottom end torqued, okay? I had it down to 63 foot pounds with the 716 bolt. It's uh, 1.6 inches long. ARP lube on the threads, ARP lube uh, underneath your, your cap there. And you torque them down, everything's peachy keen. Well, I used the stretch gauge, I put it on one of the bolts, zeroed it out, I loosened the bolt off to see how much stretch I had, checked it, and I'm at, I was at five thousandths of stretch, five thousandths of an inch stretch. Now if I go to the specs, see if you can see that. The spec is 63 foot pounds, okay, but your bolt stretch is uh, to 59 thou or to 63. That's your that's your window. So I'm short on the bolt stretch, okay, not good. Uh, that's an eye opener. So I used it to try to get the stretch where I needed it, and this is an 8740 bolt, and uh, like he said to me, these bolts stretch and torque like crap. And I'm finding that out very hard. So to get the in the into that window of 59 thou to 63 thou stretch, I was increasing the torque spec five pounds at a time. Okay, increase the five pounds, loosen the bolt back, snug it back up again, and kept doing that until I got the stretch where I needed it. Well, lo and behold, I'm sitting at 98 to 100 foot-pounds of torque on these 716 rod bolts. That's insane. I never would have guessed that in a million years. Never. Uh, so I've done them all except for one, and I'll show you how I did that. Um, yeah, it's just, it blew my mind. So from 63 foot-pounds to 98, 100 foot-pounds. That's just absurd. I, I don't know. I hope you guys can learn something from this too. I know I leveled up today. But I'll show you what I did. All right, so what I got is the Proform rod bolt stretch gauge. 
Okay, so you got your dimples on either side, the bottom side and the top. I got this thing set to zero. Okay, and as you can see on the dial indicator in the center there, uh, I'm just over a full turn of preload on the dial indicator. Okay, so we're zeroed out. Now, I'm gonna stretch this bolt out. I'm gonna torque it to 98 foot-pounds, and then I'm gonna release it, and I'm gonna to torque it one more time to 98 foot-pounds, and then we'll measure the stretch, and I'll show you what it is. I guess another area, guys, I leveled up in is I, I did invest in a different torque wrench, eh? I went with a snap-on deal. Yes, it's expensive, but I wanted to make sure that everything I got going out the door is gonna be perfect. So I had to invest into a little bit more. Mastercraft did me great. Um, but it was just it was just time for an upgrade. All right, so I got it set to 98 foot pounds. Okay, we hit 99. So I'll back that guy off and we'll hit it again. All right, 98 foot pounds. Okay, now we got that thing stretched or to a new torque spec of 98 versus the 63. Let's see what we got. Look at that. We're about 61, 62 thou of stretch. done isn't that crazy <laughs> i just i can't believe it going from i don't know like a broken record here guys but my mind is just honestly blown so i don't know i i will never build another engine again without that rubble stretch gauge on hand uh especially using these arp fasteners where you actually get the stretch factor in there the stretch spec um but i mean even even your stock bolts, they have a stretch, a stretch spec. They have to, right? Because that's how a fastener works. Whew, crazy. I'm getting worked up, guys. I'm excited. Uh, but you know what? I think what I'll do is I'll cut this video off here, and then I'll make another video where I start assembling this 408 the rest of the way. Um, thanks for checking it out, guys. I hope you learned something.